I'll be honest, I didn't really realize how racist some people are until I'm in an all white space and people don't realize that I'm mixed. I have so many stories of growing up being biracial and white people just saying anything they wanted to say in front of me. I hear racist stuff all the time. It's time to expose. One time I was with this group of white people and the girls were talking about this girl who had jungle fever. And this white girl goes, isn't it a shame to see our race mixing with another? What's going to happen to our white purity? About the time that a hate group was started at my high school called the NHRA. I'll let you guys try and guess what that stood for. And my friends were curious as to why I was completely pissed off because I'm not full black. Hmm. I am Mexican, full blooded. And one time I was dating this guy and his grandpa just moved to a different house. And he said, yeah, you grew up over here. And I'm like, oh, did you? He's like, yeah, it's really different now. I'm like, how so? He's like, well, a lot of Mexicans and blacks live over here now. I grew up in an extremely racist part of Louisiana. For instance, when I was in beauty school, going to one of my friend's house and her mom asking me like, does it gross you out to touch in words hair? I was at a pool party one time and this guy asked me, what are you? And I was like, well, I'm mixed. And he asked me with what? And I was like, black and white. And he was like, so you're a half N-word. Then he like turned to his wife and his whole family. It was like, guys, guess what? Cole's a half N-word. And like everybody's laughing. There was another time where I was at a party and the only other black person there left early. Right after he left, one of the white dudes there proceeded to say the N-word. Not even in a song or anything, just said it out loud. When I confronted him about it, he said, what? He's not here anymore. Little did he know that I'm a double agent. Right now I look mixed as because my hair is done, but normally pretty white passing. If you worked in film before, you know like 11 hours is a normal f***ing day. A white passing Hispanic person had overheard one of the main actresses distress cries to the director. Let's call the actress Biffany Babish. Miss Babish says, my feet hurt, it's time to wrap. One more take. Miss Babish says, okay, well then you gonna pay for my medical bills. And this white Hispanic had the audacity to say, oh, I'm so glad we have Miss Babish to go ghetto on them. I said, ghetto? She said, yeah, black. Or talking about going to clean my car and another friend's mom saying, oh, you gotta go get the N-words to clean it. N-words are so good at cleaning cars. They know how to clean cars so good, N-words. They're so good at cleaning. He's like, you don't want to live in a neighborhood that has a lot of Mexicans and blacks. And I said, you don't? Because why would you want to live in a neighborhood that has really good food and really awesome people? My boyfriend at the time didn't say anything. Thanks, Kyle. There was another time where we were talking about an opposing basketball team. We were talking about why the team was so good, and somebody goes, they're only good because they let all the charity cases on the team. There were no white people on this team. I'm sure I'm not the only white passing person with these kinds of stories. So <laughs>